Hello and welcome to the studio. On this channel I share my writing process, projects and create crafts inspired by my stories. Today I'm going to be embroidering some daisies and writing a short story. For the project today I was inspired by the daisies that I saw last spring on my daily walks. These little white and yellow flowers are a common sight in the spring and summer and I often found them growing in clusters by the side of paths and roads. As summer is currently coming to an end and before autumn and winter begin I thought I would embroider a few daisies to live on my desk during the year. I'm starting in my notebook with a sketch of the design that I want to create, writing down a few of the embroidery stitches I'm going to use and picking out some thread colours. If you're interested in sewing your own version of this design, I have also put the pattern for a cross stitch version up in my shop. When starting the short story today, I decided to do a quick bit of research into daisies and their name. Daisies have a very long history. Some of the flower varieties are thousands of years old, dating back to the ancient Egyptians and the Romans. The modern English name is thought to have come from an Anglo-Saxon term meaning day's eyes perhaps called such because daisy flowers lower their petals at night and then open them up again at dawn. Daisies were also used historically as a herbal remedy. Apparently the Romans used them to help heal battle wounds, but I have not been able to find an ancient source for this, so I am unsure exactly where this anecdote comes from. The daisy varieties we have today may be different to the ones seen thousands of years ago. However, the flowers in some form have clearly been around, used and admired by humans for a long time. I thought the origin of the name and daisies as day's eyes or the eyes of the day was really interesting and I decided to bring that into the story by setting the scene I was writing at dawn. I also brought in early summer and countryside as story keywords, both being things that I associated with the flowers. Bringing the keywords together in my mind and doing some word association really helped me to set out the story today.
Summer Daisies, a short story by Ida Williams. Dawn crept up slowly over the horizon, the warm light spreading out over the fields. A few birds were up and about, sweeping in and out of the trees. Nestled down with the grasses and a few random dandelions, the daisies opened up their petals and stretched out towards the sun. While the countryside woke up for the day, over in the farmyard, the rooster stepped in to make it official. His call echoed for miles. Jane's eyes opened and she yawned. Turning over onto her back, she rubbed the sleep out of her eyes and blinked at the pattern of light running across the ceiling. It would be nice to go back to sleep. To drift off into dreamland. Then, suddenly, she remembered. It was today. Springing up, she rushed over to the window and pulled back the curtains. The warm light flooded the room. Yes, the day had come at last. She pulled a jumper over her tangled hair and ran across the hall, only slowing down once to tiptoe past her parents' bedroom. Down the stairs and through the kitchen she went, skidding across the floor. There was not a moment to waste. The dog looked up sleepily from his basket and watched as she pulled on a pair of yellow Wellington boots. Finally out of the house, she ran over the grass and looked out across the field, shading her eyes from the rising sun. No school, no books, no homework, just days and days of summer. It would be ages until the leaves turned orange and they made her go back. For now, she had plans, lots of plans. Games to play, adventures to go on and fun to have. Squatting down, Jane grabbed a fistful of daisies. They lay in her hands dabs of white and yellow. Tucking one into her hair, she ran back inside, calling for everyone else to get up. The holidays had begun. The End It's always a fun challenge to write such a short little story or piece of flash fiction depending on what you want to call a mini story like this. It's a challenge to see how complete I can write a scene and to see how much emotion I can get across. It's also a nice break from other longer projects. I have one that I am working on at the moment and I will be sharing a bit more about that at some point when the details are more stable, it's in a flux stage at the moment. I added in the summer holidays into the setting of the story, and to keep things simple, I just went with one character, the little girl. Telling the story from a child's point of view provided a good way of capturing the excitement of the summer holidays, and I liked how her running outside to see the beginning of her holidays complimented the daisies opening up their petals each day to greet the sun. I wanted to include words with the daisies on the embroidery design and I took this little quote from the story. I liked it because often when I see daisies growing from afar they cluster together and look like a scene from an abstract painting. 
just dabs of white and yellow in the grasses. I also think that the colours contribute to daisies being such a recognisable flower. Just those two colours together bring daisies to mind, at, at least to my mind. Other flowers I think are more recognisable by their shape or scent, such as ro roses for example, but I think daisies are much more associated with their colours. Anyway, that's why I chose those particular words from the story to sew onto the embroidery. I hope you enjoyed the video and the story today. Feel free to leave a comment below the video and say hello. You can find me over on Instagram at Meadow Afternoon and you can see more of my work over on my website. Thank you for stopping by and see you next time. <laughs>